Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are taking a look on how you can enforce a game build on your 5M server. What this does is it will force newer game builds, which will allow you to have all of the new vehicles and weapons and everything else from that game build. So let's take a look. So how do you undo this? You're going to do it in your server.cfg or your startup um, dot bat or your startup file. I recommend doing it in server.cfg, just keeps it easy. So we're going to go ahead and open this with notepad or notepad plus plus. I was going to keep it open and I'm going to add this just above um, where script hook is either allowed or disallowed. And we're just going to go ahead and take it from here. So we're just going to take SV underscore enforce game build. This is easy. We're going to paste this in, put a space, and then this is where we're going to put whatever build number we want. So the latest build number is going to be 2545, which was the contract um, update, update for um, GTA Online. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and save. That's all you technically have to do. That's gonna show up in game now, um, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna use an older version, you can go ahead and do that. The only thing this is gonna do is if the player hasn't updated their GTA build, it's not gonna allow them to play the server. So just make sure all your players are on the newest GTA build. But as you launch, all you have to do is just launch like you normally do. There's gonna be no other warnings like that or anything like that. Let's hop in game and make sure I just wanted to works. jump in here and say if you are running Linux, I've noticed that sometimes when you put it in the server.cfg, it actually doesn't take effect. So what you would do in that case is on your startup line, wherever you have your startup line where you do the execute server.cfg, you would just add another little bit that says set SV underscore enforce game build and then the game build you want. You can do this on Windows too if you want rather than putting it in the server.cfg. But I did want to mention it that you just have to add it to your startup arguments if you want it to work correctly. Um, it seems to be that's what's happening on Linux for me personally. So I just wanted to give a little note in here um, in case you run into that same issue. All right, you can see when I'm connecting here, it's going to go ahead and verify that I have the latest updated GTA. So it's actually checking my update.rpf file in my GTA directory to ensure that I have all of those DLC updates installed. So this is going to happen the first time that you join the server just so it can confirm that you have the latest update. And then it's going to go ahead and let you join the server. Then it could be like 5M needs to be updated. So your 5M local game data needs to be updated. Uh, do I wish to continue? I'm just going to go ahead and press yes. And then it's going to go ahead and update and then restart 5M just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and allow access, obviously, to the latest versions and all of that good stuff. So now it's going to go ahead and analyze that game data once again and just make sure when we connect to the server once again, it's going to actually work this time, which is pretty cool. So you can see this time I'm actually in the loading screen for the menu and I'm able to join just like my normal GTA. All right, so once you connect, you are good to go. You will have all your new stuff in here and you are forcing the new game build. So thanks so much for watching today's video. It's that simple to do, adding one line and one number to your server.cfg. Um, hopefully this has answered a few of your questions regarding um, how that works. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy the new game build.